Okay, we're going to start on book number nine, which is fine. <laughs> anyway, once again, all Sanchi material is copyrighted March 17, 2000 by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the comics, except from myself, that may seem similar to anyone in real life or fiction, are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. Anyway, here is the cover for book number nine. It's a good piece of artwork, isn't it? Ah, and the featured in the uh, in episode 20 will be redone version of Timmy 1984's Sanchi fan promos, which I thought were pretty good, but rewording could have been used greatly because he used the wrong words. Anyway, episode 19, date ed, dating education. Even though the idea sounds dated, <laughs> April 3rd, 2008, at Quickfield University. Dun, 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 Wild and Punchy are on their way into the university. And then Wild says, Ah, quick feel you. When not in the classroom, it's a great social spring. Oh yeah, I'm going to take every note possible and I'm going to show Angie a great time by May or June. <laughs> and, Fun and Wild's nervous right now. Yeah, Punchy. So ambitious. <laughs> I wonder who my women will be. Hmm. Nearby are Simona and Zapina hanging out. Hmm. About, oh, wow, the girl's on first saying, Don't pull my leg, God. Don't belabor it. Anyway, Simona's saying to Zapina, Well, have a good day. Bullying hi, Zapina. Learned a lot. Find a good 16 year old boy, and your mom and dad will pick you up later. Thank you, Simona. You got to play. They ought to pay you more for being the best friend ever, in addition to being the best babysitter ever. Well, you enjoy your classes too. I'll see ya. Zip! Hmm. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get paired up with a great man. I have a dream of having a boy and nurturing him and loving my hubby. My, my son's name will be Reginald Sonny. <laughs> Later in the classroom. Wild sitting there, nervous like. <laughs> but Simona's not so nervous. Simona's thinking, Wow, there are an equal number of genders in this class, counting myself. Wild's thinking, Oh, I'm so nervous. My head is paralyzed. It won't turn at all. And Punchy's confident. <laughs> I'm gonna ace this class and wow, my Christian angel. <laughs> yeah. Then enters our teacher, Miss Chakaras. Good morning, class. Welcome to Dating Education. I am Miss Jackarash. I will now pass around the syllabus for the course. Please word over them at your own pace. We will be kind to a chase in this class, even though it's only the first day. I will be pairing y'all up as boy and girl couples secretly, and any remaining single or singles will be paired up with a not with a friend or associate of mine. I myself am not available as it would be against school regulations. And I am already going out with a good cowboy. Yeehaw! Today I will be letting out Barbara dolls for the men in this class and Robert dolls for the women. After each of you handed to me your written reasons for attending the class and semester, for the first few weeks you each will practice what I teach you and, com and communicating with real people of your individual opposite genders. On your dolls I have loaned you, each of you, on each of you. The first time a great is of great import the first I have a great importance is to remember to always remain calm and keep all flustered emotions off your mind when first approaching a person of your opposite gender. It will take practice to tweak your minds to hold the fears back, but I assure you that it will be well worth it at the end with all your lucky nights. <laughs> Just messing with you. <laughs> uh, you'll need to start you'll need you will need to start off any of all relationships by being friends first. That's most important. Now, if you start off with beyond friend in mind, then the other person will feel nervous and will, f will most likely walk away, ignore you, or whatever. Let the romantic emotions grow between the two of you over a reasonable amount of time. A few weeks to even a few months with multiple meetings and dates with the person are well recommended. And, as a gentleman, you should ask before even touching her or ladies, you may ask him if it is cool for you to touch him, 
as a gesture of respecting kindness. And now with all that, and now that I've established all that, I will take roll call. Amy. Here. Clem. Here. Clyde. A. Emily. Here. Lawrence. Yo. Fred. Hey, hey, hey. Geraldine. Yeah. George. Ho, ho. Lena. Here. Ivy. Here. Bunchy. Yo. Reginald. Here. Here. Simona. Here, y'all. Wild. Snarkin' Florgan! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, here. 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 Okay. Well, let's go. Let's start with the greetings. To go, why is nine year old? If you want to start a conversation with a girl or a guy, ladies, <laughs> first you have to say something like hi. If he or she says hi back, you are off to a good start. And then <laughs> Reginald's thinking, looking at the lovely Layla. Whoa, she is so cute. The class Silva says pairings will be made for the I am portion. I hope I get matched up with her. If he doesn't like you, do not worry, it happens. Another good way to... In the meantime, the nearby Ivy is scribbling, too. Something, and then suddenly, a thought, and then suddenly, a telepathic image occurs. Between me and her. It turns out we are destined summoned by God and Jesus. <laughs> Children, I am God. I have summoned you two here because I am answering Christian's prayers. Chris, this is Ivy, your sweetheart to be. And I'm Jesus. Sup? <laughs> uh, hello, Ivy. Hi, Christian. What's going on? I'm living safe and well. How about you? I'm okay. I'm. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm living in. Blah, 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 blah. My father is. Uh, blah, blah. I shop off in that. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Well, it all has checked out. You are true. Wow, my biological clock is fixed. I trust you and I believe you. I love you, Ivy. My heart is dedicated to you. Aw, I'm happy for you and I'm happy to help. I love you, Chris. Hmm. You will recognize her, then acknowledge her as your sweetheart, because from a favor, from a favor on her half, your eternal clock will be restored fully. Your enemies of force that garbage will be vanquished, so you both will live together in peace. Live freely. Hmm. This is a future. Occurrences may occur. I have spoken. So have I. <laughs> I'm hanging with my pop. All right, y'all take care. Then we warp out of that zone, back into the classroom. Wow. Wow. And a lot of time has passed in the class since then, but anyway, Miss Jack Rose says, Okay, class, as our time is almost up, I need to inform you that I have gone through to my roster, and I have randomly matched each student, each student male with female. And I have each of your screen names written on these slips along with the screen names of your match partners. I will be heading out the slips now. No trades, swaps, or changes are allowed. For any of the pairings, y'all each will be chatting with your partners in instant messages online sessions in the computer lab in the next few classes. For your homework tonight, converse with your assigned G.I. Joe's ladies and likewise your assigned Barbies, gentlemen, like you were conversing with that person of your opposite gender. And write out your pretend conversations as it happens, or shortly after from memory. Then hand write a minimum of 50-word essay on your thoughts about the conversation. Class dismissed.